Lake Placid, the venue for the two-man bobsleigh World Cup season opener. And it's the home of US sliding. No surprise then to see three American sleds in the top five after the first heat. Corey Butner with Charles Barkley behind him was fifth in the first heat, but a great second run put him in contention for the medals. German rookie Francesco Friedrich was also looking forward. He was just three hundredths of a second away from bronze medal position after the first heat. But with his lack of experience on the track, he couldn't hold on. Butner edged close to the podium. He had his teammates to beat though. Nick Cunningham, the National Guardsman in USA 2, was in third spot after heat one, but he could not hold it together and slipped back down the order behind Corey Butner. Butner guaranteed a medal. Cunningham would have to wait for somebody else's mistakes. Would they come from the start monsters, Oscars Melbardis and Dalman Striskins? Second heat, a brand new start record, beating the mark that had stood for seven years at Lake Placid. And despite his errors, he continued into a podium finish. But Corey Butner from fifth was still leading the race as the two-man world champion Steve Holcomb, who claimed gold on this track in February, took to the ice. There was no mistakes from Holke. With Stephen Langton giving him a great start, he produced the gold medal finish that he wanted. Two-man gold in the first World Cup race of the season. With USA first and second, it was a golden day for the Americans.